I'm Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. I want to share with you another quick build that uh, we've got coming out of the Dry Dock shop. Uh, this is a plastic bottle kit uh, conversion. It's put out by a company called Bronco. It's a 135th scale. This is actually a, a really nice boat and I like the size because it's big enough that it will have some presence on and under the water. However, it's small enough that you can carry it under one arm. It's not very heavy at all. And certainly for transport, you can easily put it in a trunk or the back seat of a car. So just a beautiful boat. I want to make a note that you can get the kits as well as all of the running gear that you need to make this a practical model on our website at www.nautilusdrydocks.com. Certainly if you're interested, be sure to check it out. We got this as well as about five or six other starter kits that you can check out if you're interested in this very cool hobby. But let's take a minute and I'll show you the construction of the boat, how it works, and then at the end we'll get to some video footage of the boat on and under the water. All right, let's get started with the technical tour. As you can see, I have the boat opened up as it would be in order to get ready to go to the pond. A uh, few different things to note in the background. We've got a Futaba four channel FM radio system. We've got our main hull, the main hull, the upper hull, and then we have our sub driver, our watertight cylinder that houses all of the electronics and components for the boat. So let's start our little tour there. We'll start at the, uh, the forward end, the battery end of the cylinder. Uh, in the very front you can see that we have a power lead here and that connects to this lead which is connected to the upper hull. And I've got red and green LED lights in the conning tower. And just as a note there, I've elected to leave the lenses off and then also I did not seal the backs of them and I did this intentionally, it's not because I'm lazy, but from a practical standpoint it's good to have as much visibility to those LED lights as possible so that it's easier to spot your boat when it is submerged. So this as I said is the forward battery compartment. You can see the main drive battery in there, it's a 3300 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. We have our heavy duty remote on off switch uh, and that allows you to turn the model on and off utilizing these key fobs uh, which is really really slick you don't have to open the model up in order to do so. Uh, I've also got a remote 10 amp fuse in there which is always a good idea. Moving back we have our main ballast tank and uh, we've got the conduit that allows the power to go from the front all the way to the back of the cylinder. And then we've got air hoses for the ballast tank. And this boat utilizes a semi-aspirated snort system. It's something that David Merriman came up with. And that basically allows you to have a fully functioning ballast system without the need for gas. I'll get into that in a minute when we take a look at the upper hull. Moving into the back, we've got our receiver, our ballast servo, and then our servos for rudder dive planes. I've got an automatic pitch controller and the main drive motor in the back. On the back, you can see the uh, single shaft output uh, as well as two magnetic linkage connectors. And if we take a look at the inside of the boat, uh, these are the heavy duty versions of it. So it's a, a much stronger connection than if we were to say use two of the smaller ones uh, together. But you can see the rudder linkages there and the dive planes. And the way that this is set up, the forward planes uh, connect through there and it runs through this channel all the way to the front. So you can see as we manipulate the rear planes, the front planes operate as well. So kind of a slick system, it's all hidden underneath. Taking a look at the upper hull here, we can see our snort 
air hose, and that connects to the top of the cylinder. And this is really kind of the business end uh, of the system. What we've got is an, a valve here that is actuated by this uh, foam float. So if we think about this, the reason that this works so well is when the boat is submerged, the float wants to rise, it closes the valve, the air pump will draw air from the battery and electronics compartment of the cylinder and force it into the ballast tank, causing a change in buoyancy and causing the boat to surface. Once the boat surfaces, the float valve drops, the valve opens, pressure equalizes, and the model draws air from the surface to empty out the remainder of the ballast tank. So it's a very slick system and uh, it works really, really well. You can see some uh, leads for the LED lights tucked in neatly up there as well as some flotation foam. All right, let's get this thing ready for the pond by installing the watertight cylinder into the model. Step number one is connecting the light lead to the forward bulkhead. I'm going to grab our hold down connector, tighten that down, and now we've got a waterproof connection. We're going to pull out our Velcro straps, make sure that those are out of the way. I'm going to slip this uh, forward in the hull just like that. Before we drop it down though, we want to make sure that we get our drive shaft, connect that to the back. The other end goes in the coupler in the front. And then as you drop that down, it just drops right into place. And there is an alignment tab uh, in the middle of the boat as well as the back and that makes sure that everything drops down exactly where it needs to go. So prop shaft is in place. Now we're going to just connect our magnetic linkage connectors. They're polarized so they'll only connect to the proper output so you can't actually confuse that at all. So linkages are made up, drive shaft is made up, lighting is made up. I'm going to take our receiver antenna and we're going to string that down the length of the hull, nice and long. And then we're just going to take our Velcro straps, push those down as well. Everything is locked in, tight, installed and ready to go. Uh, next step is going to be to connect the snort air hose and that just goes on the tab on the top there. And that's just a press fit. So that's all ready to go now as well. Really everything is ready to go at this point. So why don't we grab our radio system, extend our antenna, turn on the radio and power up the cylinder. So you can see our LED lights popped into place and we can just check a few of the functions. One thing I'll note that uh, I forgot to, to do here, um, you just got to make sure that that front um, connector clicks onto the magnets for the front dive planes and that was nice and easy to do. Magnets are a great solution for models of this size. So here's our dive planes actuating going through the full range of motion, uh, rudder, can check out our throttle, forward and back, and our ballast system. So you can hear there the air pump and the vent valve. So now that everything is connected uh, and ready to go, what we're going to do is put our upper hull on. I'm going to tuck our air hose out of the way, our light connector out of the way. Tab goes down in front, just drop the hull down. Again, making sure you don't trap any of the air hoses or anything like that. 
tabs go in place, and that is it. At the back, there's one stainless steel screw, and that goes in place in the back. Screw it down quickly, and there we go. 100% ready to go. Here is our operational, or ready to operate, Type 23 Coastal Submarine. Now that we've got it all ready to go, why don't we head out to the pond uh, and take a look and see how this thing actually performs in the water. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this little write up on this Bronco Type 23 Coastal German Submarine. Uh, look for this many other projects on the website at nautilusdrydocks.com and again, if this hobby interests you, by all means, check out the site, look for the starter kits for this kit, many other ones. Once you get into it, I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's absolutely addictive and I'm certainly here to help walk you through it. We'll check you out next time. Thanks everyone.